Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy Briggs and I am with TAN TV, the Entrepreneur Network. And today I'm with Jason Cordepat with SIA. So what is SIA? What is Sustainable Energy and um, Agriculture Association of Alberta? Tell us all about that, Jason. Oh, SIA. See, it's a bit of a passion project of mine. Uh, I, I originally went and started a nonprofit organization in 2020, and I wanted something that kind of tied together uh, sustainable energy. We've got solar, we've got uh, geothermal, all those things with oh, wow. with stuff like agrivoltaics and sustainable agriculture and 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 you know regenerative farming practices. Because oh, at the time I was learning about vertical farming, I saw how it tied into my background of solar, and I wanted to form a nonprofit that pushed forward a message of of education, of, of, of passion and excitement for a field that I was learning more and more about every day. I think that's really interesting. I just love what you do. So what inspired you to start a nonprofit organization? And then I know you got it registered as a charity. Mm -hmm. That's amazing that you got that so fast. I love it. It, it was uh, it was a challenge. It wasn't without its uh, bumps, but um, I, I wanted I wanted to be able to elevate uh, expectations in the industry. And you can do that by selling business to business. You can do that by selling business to consumer. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, there's there's an implied objective behind what you're doing with that sales method. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do was, was remove myself from that, become objective to that process and reach out to consumers and users um, and, and even companies doing installations for you know a variety of technologies right. and say, let's raise expectations for consumers, let's raise expectations for industry, let's get people trained up and educated for mm -hmm. this next wave of sustainable energy and agriculture. I think that's awesome. So that it's not, it doesn't take anybody by surprise. You have consumers requesting better and higher quality product and then you have better educated installers and mm -hmm. companies willing to provide those products. I think that's just amazing what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else you'd like to add? Like, what's our future looking like? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we're, we're in for a pretty interesting ride. Um, you know, there's lots of factors at play, uh, political, economic, socioeconomic, whatever the case. It's, it's, it, I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen in terms of technological advancements. Right. Um, challenging the existing paradigms is something that I, I'm a little bit of a rebel in that sense, where I like to, you know, challenge the mainstream opinions and where things are, where things have been held for decades. And, you know, it's, this is the way it's always been. Let's see what happens if we try something different. I'm really curious to see what that looks like. You know, Jason, you are so well spoken on this topic <laughs> and I really admire you for that. And I want to thank, thank you. you for being here today. And we're going to sign off. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get all of Jason's information after this video. So phone him. He's very interesting and he's very knowledgeable. So thank, thank you, you so much.